Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different characteristics of tropical rainforests. It should provide you with a good introduction to your rainforest case study. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. We're going to start off by thinking about where this tropical rainforest biome is located. Tropical rainforests lie along the equator in South America, Central Africa, Southeast Asia and Northeast Australia. They cover approximately 6% of the world's land surface. The largest area of rainforest is the Amazon Basin, which covers Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname and French Guyana. There are four distinctive layers in the tropical rainforest. Right at the top we have the emergent layer. These are the tallest trees in the rainforest, with some over 50 metres in height. The trees have grown tall here to reach the sun and are home to species of birds such as parrots and toucans, along with many bats. Below the emergent layer you will find the canopy. This is the most dense part of the rainforest and is home to the most species. Trees can grow here to 30 metres and receive high levels of sunlight. Underneath the main canopy, you have the under canopy. This is a lower level of trees that grow to around 50 metres in height. Due to the canopy above this layer, it only receives around 10% of the sunlight in the rainforest. This part of the rainforest is very damp, so species of frog and snakes thrive here. And right at the bottom, you will find the forest floor. This layer is very dark and is covered in leaf litter. It is home to large predators such as jaguars. So let's have a look at the climate in the tropical rainforest biome. Tropical rainforests are located on or close to the equator. This means they are warm and wet all year round with little daily or seasonal variation. Temperatures are around 27 degrees on average and annual precipitation usually exceeds 2,500 millimetres, compared with between 800 and 1,400 in the UK. The high level of rainfall means that a huge amount of water feeds the enormous rivers that often run through rainforests, such as the Amazon in South America and the Congo in Central Africa. Linked to the climate is the vegetation found in the tropical rainforest biome. Tropical rainforests have dense, lush vegetation and very tall trees. Plants in the rainforest have specific adaptations that enable them to compete for sunlight and nutrients and survive in the warm and wet conditions. We will talk about these in the next video. Plant growth is rapid because the hot and humid conditions speed up the nutrient cycle, making ideal conditions for plants. The canopy also receives plenty of sunlight to absorb a photosynthesis, which is why the vegetation is so dense in this layer. However, despite the rich vegetation found in tropical rainforests, the soils are really thin and poor, and not very fertile. The vegetation is so luxuriant because of nutrient cycling. Between biomass, which is the living organisms, the leaf litter, made of dead wood and leaves and animal remains, and the soil. Leaf litter decomposes rapidly because of the humidity in the tropical rainforest. However, the nutrients released are often washed away by the heavy rainfall, a process known as leaching, before becoming part of the soil. Tropical rainforests have high levels of biodiversity, home to more than two thirds of global plant species and over half of the world's animals, including mammals such as many species of monkey, birds such as parrots and toucans, reptiles such as lizards, amphibians such as tree frogs, and countless insects. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the characteristics of the tropical rainforest biome. Thank you for watching.